What's up guys, I'm Jeremy at Thysolpower.com and in today's video we're going to do the new DIY kit. So this is an update of the last video I did about a year ago. Made some changes to the kit. I uh, think you'll like it. Here we go. Thysole Power! Get you some. So here's the little bag of goodies we're going to send you for your DIY kit. Now this is going to be the same uh, bag if you order it with box or without uh, so let's dive into it right now of course ice hole power sticker two binding posts now we use these in the ice fishing world to connect our our lights and our ice shack uh, with alligator clips um, you can also use them to charge your batteries without opening the the box so i'll, I'll show you how to wire those up in this video let's see what else we have here the three hole panel There's some crap on there two two 2.1 amp usbs chargers cigarette wire port and your voltmeter so then we have lights so this is a change we made to the boxes we upgrade the lights. These things are freaking indestructible. So other than this rubber garment, it's one piece. We got filled with resin. Uh, these things don't heat up at all. Those those metal eagle eye, eagle eye lights, they they tend to get pretty warm. So, um, and we always had to send extras just because they would intermittently fail and you know. Uh, so we'd, we'd send extra to a customer and then uh, freaking lenses would fall off. I mean, they're just, it's the best that we could get for what we're doing at that time. But this is a huge upgrade and I think you guys will like, like these lights a lot more than those last ones. So inline fuse, three 10 amp fuses, five rocker switches. Now... Our basic box comes with uh, four switch holes here, 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 and here. And then this this other one here would be a spare. And then you get hard, hardware. This mounting hardware is to mount up your three-hole socket, if you choose to. These these plastic nuts, nuts really hold them in place. But, uh, but yeah, this is the same... Same kit you can expect in, in the boxes that are drilled out as well. So let's go over the different box options. I've really tried to expand the options. Um, that's why we're making this new video. Let's go over everything. So the first option is just the basic box. Now we'll drill out all these holes for you guys. This box here and this kit, at the time of this video, it's $59.99. That's shipped anywhere in the lower 48. You're gonna get a little foam in here. That's gonna kind of cushion your batteries. Funny story, I had to, had to explain to a Canadian guy what the lower 48 was, because he thought he'd get free shipping. Sorry, sorry Canada. Lower 48 is all the states in the continental US. So, your other option is to add the glow cup. So if you add the glow cup, we're gonna send you a box with that glow cup uh, switch drilled out. You also have the option to add an SAE port. So if you're not familiar with what an SAE port is, Amped Outdoors, the battery company that, that I use, they send their chargers out, lithium chargers out with SAE connectors. We got our, our ports to match up with their chargers. So you don't even need to use those top that, those top posts, you can just plug it into the side of the box. So you have other kits, other kit options. So you have wiring kit. Now this is gonna, what this kit will do, it has everything in here that you need to wire a bad mofo. So if you're familiar with the bad mofo box, that's the box with speakers. You're gonna get everything in this wire kit that you can add on to this other kit. This is what the glow cup, you can add that on. And when you add on the glow cup, you're gonna get more additional hardware 
to mount the cup and then two extra switches. And then this is the SAE. So with the SAE option, we're gonna mount it just like that. And then we'll send you the hardware, send you the hardware for it, and then a pigtail so you can hook up external, you know, whatever. Uh, fish finder or, or shack lights, whatever you want to run off the 12 volts. And then this is what you would plug your amped lithium charger into. Now there's other chargers that use SA plugs. Some of them won't work with this because there's not really a standard. Everyone swaps, seems to, to swap around the, the positive and negative with the male and female, female ends. So we got ours matched up to, to amped. Um, mark them. They have a lithium charger. They're not going to work with, with, with this port. So if you have a, a mark them charger you'd want to charge your box with, when you land these wires, you need to swap them. The positive to negative, negative to positive. So this will work with your charger. So something to keep in mind when you're following along. So let's dive into what all you can expect to get out of your wiring kit. Another ISO power sticker. You're gonna get Velcro. We're gonna send you four, four chunks of Velcro. And this is how we secure our batteries in our, our power box. So we, we put a chunk on a Velcro on each side of the battery. Then we slide it down in there. Um, we'll go over that here later on in the video, but this basically keeps them when you're, if you're out ice fishing, this key or out on a boat, this keeps your batteries from bouncing around and wrecking your wires. So, um, something very important you should have in all your power boxes to secure your batteries. So we got a bunch of connectors in here. Let's get this wire out. So this is the wire I'll use to wire this up. Guys have been having a hard time finding the, the wire. I leave a link, I'll leave a link below in the in this the description of the video with a link to everything here so this is we use 18 awg wire now i say that then guys will go to the hardware store and buy 18 awg but their the insulation on it was was too thick so i highly recommend just getting this wire kit you're going to get 12 foot of, of black 12 foot of of red positive wire then you're going to get all kinds of zip ties and those are going to be pretty important for cable management. If you follow ISO, ISO power or if you look at our wiring pictures, you know, we don't hide, we don't hide our wiring. We're proud of our wire, wiring. A lot of other people, they won't show you their wiring. Our wiring is on the website. You zip tie it up. It's not that hard. You make it look clean. So uh, you're going to get a whole bunch of different connectors. Uh, yeah, this is everything you need to, to wire up a bad mofo. So we got plenty here for for these deluxe boxes. So while I'm putting this away here, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Man, it really helps us out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I come out with videos whenever I have time because ISO power takes, takes up so much of my time. And I work another full-time job as electronics technician at the railroad. So um, I wish I could put out videos every week or two, but... Man, I'm just so busy. So, but if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, ISO Power on Facebook, ISO Power on Instagram. My email is Jeremy, J E R E M Y, at isopower.com. Uh, happy, happy to answer your questions. Uh, sometimes it goes to spam, so I, I try to check my spam. So if I don't get a hold of you or if I don't reply back right away, um, try social media. Okay, let's talk about tools we're going to use for this build. Uh, first, we'll cover what everyone that's doing a DIY project probably already has. Drill, Phillips head. You may use a 10 millimeter nut driver. You can use a socket if you'd like. I'm going to use a 5 16th nut driver. Again, you can use a socket. I will leave a link to all this stuff um, and some Amazon links. In case you did need to pick something up nail nose pliers phillips screwdriver now 
these are the common tools. Let's talk about the wiring tools. So more than likely, just about everyone has a pair of these in the garage. Just uh, some crimpers. Um, in the video, I did use ratcheting crimp crimpers. I used some precision snippers. You've probably seen these in my other videos. Some strippers. I really like these strippers. I really like these strippers. And then uh, some flags. Flag crimpers. This is a tool that probably most of everyone, this and these strippers, most everyone probably does not have. Um, so if you want to use these flags that are in the wiring kit, I highly recommend you grab grab these these crimpers and the different difference is it's just the the wire is going to shoot out on a 90 instead of coming up like that so it's going to save yourself a little bit of space so that's the tools you'll need i'll leave a description okay let's talk about batteries we're going to use to build this thing with we're, we're going to use amped 12 amp hour we're going to use two of them i'm going to show you where these batteries in parallel so we can increase the amp hours, not the voltage. It is very important that you watch how I do that, especially if you're using sealed lead acid batteries because um, you, you'll smoke the wires if you hook them up wrong with the sealed lead acid batteries. You'll just trip the BMS with this. If you want to learn more about batteries, I got a link. One of these corners, I don't know which one, but there's going to be a link. Uh, you can click on that, watch a little bit about batteries. Now, full disclosure, I do sell these amp batteries. This video is not to try to sell you on them. I, I care less if you build this box with sealed lead acid or, or lithium or Dakota lithium or um, any other uh, any other battery. I don't want you using NMC batteries, okay? Nickel, manganese, cobalt. Reason being is the voltage is about 17 volts on those things um, when fully charged. And that's just going to be too high for what our components here are rated for these are rated for you know 12 volt these are 12 volt accessories so going up to 17 um you're, you're gonna see stuff prematurely burn out you might be able to get away with it a little bit at first um but it's just gonna it's gonna burn burn stuff out prematurely so stay away from nmc batteries if you're if you're building this power box i'm gonna show you how to safely wire one of these up so please before you go and buy one, watch this video and all of it so you know what you're getting into. And then, uh, yeah, and then buy one if you think you can uh, build one. So, here we go. All right. So, we are going to do the whole shebang here. This is all the kits that we have and the amped lithium iron phosphate batteries. So first thing we're going to do is grab the components kit here and get these ones out of the way. We'll do insulation. Installation. Alright. Gotta keep remembering to keep you guys in the camera. So take these little rubber garments off. Pop them in like that. Bam. Just as easy as that. Those last ones, those last eagle eyes, I feel your pain. You guys were screwing those nuts on and you had goop on the end of the, holding the wires on. And it's just, just a big pain in the ass. This is definitely an upgrade. So there we go, lights are in. These switches now when you do these switches there's a little rubber garment around here make sure that's fully covering that that plastic housing right there so on the eye symbol make sure that's going up that'll be your 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 brass tab here we'll talk about switches here in a second because a lot of guys have problem getting these switches uh wrap, wrapping their head around these switches so Some of these are pretty, sometimes be kind of tough to get in. 
There we go. So these switches have three tabs. You have a brass tab. Yeah, to make sure I get in the video here. You have a brass tab and two silver tabs. So that brass tab, the only thing that does, the only function that brass tab does is to light, it, that's your negative energy for the LED inside your switch. That also acts as a junction, bo junction box, junction point for your negatives throughout the box. Now, since we have the glow cup, you do have two extra switches. So, uh, in case something ever happens to these switches, if you order a glow cup, you'll have two extra. If you order the box without the glow cup, you'll have one extra. So we'll put that guy right in there. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about switches. Okay. So you got your brass tab. That's your negative. Two silver ones are positive. So when you're when you have a switch, all it's doing is making and breaking the connection. Think of it as two wires, okay? You're just touching and breaking, making and breaking those two wires. That's all you're doing with this. And you're doing that on the positive leg. So with it off, these two tabs are not connected internally. With it on, they are connected internally. And the, the juice can go down the line. So if you do this, make sure you put your clutch on one or your speed on one, put, put your clutch on your one or two. Now these are, I love these screws. They're actually black stainless steel screws. So I special order them. They're expensive, but I think they just make the box look great. This part's kind of pain in the ass. Sometimes it helps if you have Pair of needle nose pliers. There we go. Now, one thing you'll notice a little bit different than the uh, older model glow cups. One, we have a insert in here now. Uh, that prevents your your uh, jig from hooking your your lights in there. If you're if you're not familiar with this, this is a, a, a glow cup, and as ice fishermen, we have little jigs that we put in there, and then that's lined with UV lights. And this little lens here that just glows in the dark, just kind of a cool thing. But it's great for crappie and walleye fishing. But. Yeah, we were able to put this texture now. We 3D print these these cups. So pretty excited about this this texture. You can't see the, the 3D print lines on there. Uh, I've seen about three or four copycat cups since I came out that four years ago. This is the original. Let's drill, run these screws home here. Grab your, was that 5 sixteenths nut driver? Okay, let's get these posts in here. Now, for consistency's sake, I do like to put the negative towards the back, just like that. This is an option. SAE and what I like to do is I kind of feel like if I mount it like that this would uh, potentially catch on something so rip I don't want to rip it off so we'll mount that with the cap going towards the inside of the box the center of the box so these are these are 10 millimeter Aircraft nuts here. So 
order on that. You might actually have to bring your clutch up to about six. Well, I think we're about ready to start wiring. I will fast forward through probably a lot of that just so I don't have to waste your time. All right, first thing we're gonna do, I like to wire the negative first. So pull your foam up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wire some, some wire underneath that foam. We're gonna do this to wire these batteries in parallel. So what I like to do is I like to come to this corner, come back over here, make make sure you got a little bit extra. Make sure you can see that. I like to go down to this corner, up and over. Now I want to make sure I can get to this switch with that negative wire. So one of these, we're going to do two of these black wire this length. One of them will go to that switch. The other one will come back around to this other battery. So we got that wire. We'll just get a measurement. For a second wire based off of that one. Now we also need one red wire that the same length. So in the end here, you'll have two black, one red wire. Let me grab my and this is for the battery compartment in here. Now what I like to do is I like to take one end and just tie it. It's a little bit more than what we need, but you'll have plenty in your plenty in your kit. I like to throw some zip zip ties. So we'll get into our wiring bag. If you don't have wiring bag, you know, if you have just zip ties lying at home, whatever, this is just a extra option on the site. I'm showing you how we do it in-house. So I'll go about every big fist or so. That's probably good right there. Let me snip of your snip your tags. You set that guy down in there. Make sure you got plenty of room over here to get to that switch. And also have plenty of room to get to this battery that we're going to set right here. So we'll get our foam. We'll just tuck that right down there. Pull your SAE wire out. Just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our battery in right there. We're going to put this one in right here. We're going to go ahead and just start wiring. We'll go negative. Do me a favor. If you have sealed lead acid batteries, it'd be a good idea to just grab some tape. Throw them over, over the terminals, especially if you don't have these. Uh, just tape them, tape them up. So just so stray wire don't you know don't short you out there. Try to get this in view and make sure it's comfortable for me too. All right. So your negative doesn't matter which negative. Just grab a negative. Come on down here. To the, or to the brass tab 
Now this is gonna be a three wire connection. You're gonna need two more. So one's coming here. You're gonna have one go to your post. Then you're also gonna have one from here to this other brass tab. So we'll get some strippers. This just needs to be a little chunk. Just like that. Get yourself a blue spade. Big blue spade. And some clippers. Sure you do a pull test. That's good. That's not going anywhere. And we'll land that on that brass tab. Now we'll take this guy. So we know this one's the negative post. So we'll go ahead and land that guy. We'll, we will get a an eye. Strip him. I will land him now if you have an SE port this is the part where you grab your port separate your negative wire run that down we want to also land him on that post I will do something like that Grab another red eye. Land him right there. Now this is something new. I didn't do in the other video. We didn't have the SA port. This is only if you have that SA port. You want to do this step. And then we will land that red one right here. And the reason we do that is because this charging switch right here, that's how we, we charge. That switch will now control this post and this port. Back it away from that corner. There, that's all I want to put. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So moving on to this other switch. This is just an auxiliary post. Good, good measurement here. Also, three wire connection. One one wire going to the switch, one wire uh, to your post. The one wire will come over here to your uh, socket. So we just need a little chunk.
Now you'll have, this is another big blue one. We have two different female spades, small blue, big blue. The small blue one just can't get three wires in it. So we had to use this bigger size. Always pull. Sometimes funky stuff happens and it uh, doesn't take. So always make sure you give her a good pull test. You should never have, this my personal pet peeve, a lot of guys do, uh, especially when they're building to sell these things. They've got copper exposed out of their, out of their uh, connector there. That's just sloppy wiring in my opinion. You want the insulation down in there. Just looks better. All right. So I think I'm going to take this guy. Run them over here. This will just be your eye or ring terminal. Everything here has about two or three names. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative, go right here. This will be a two-wire connection. Now on this, I like to use these flags. And you'll need a flag crimper. It's always best to load your crimper up first. down to the negative on the voltmeter. Now this is going to be a three wire connection. One wire here, one wire going to the master, and then one wire coming over here to this other socket. A chunk like that. Now we're going to use a big blue spade. Oh, that's a small one. Take this wire. I actually want to run it. It'll look a little cleaner if I ran it under. Now this is a single wire connection. So we're going to use a small red spade. Don't get confused with the color of your connectors and the polarity of the wires. So that this red is just saying it's for a smaller wire 
or in our case, one wire, where the blue is for, for a little bit thicker wire. But in our case, we use it for two wires, two, two or three. I, I like to put my hand underneath the switch, and just on the side that we're, we're pushing that down on. And sometimes it doesn't hurt to grab your your kneel nose and just work that down. Easy. Rock it back and forth a little bit. You don't want to break that tab. That's why I send extra switches though, in case you do. So I'm gonna go right here. Now this is a two-wire connection. One wire to this negative on the socket. Then we're gonna take another wire back over to our light switch. We're not going to land it on the switch yet, but we're just going to run it. Come over here. This is going to be a blue flag that up just like that now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna kind of run it a little bit past that switch want to make sure we're gonna have plenty extra then I cut it and then uh, we're gonna take the remaining black wire and just kind of put it to the side for now so that's where we're stopping with the negative for now we're gonna uh, let's see we should probably yeah we can wire this up Where's our positive? Now I'm just going to go from middle of the switch. I like to do middle, like power out in the middle, power into the switch. I like to do on the outside silver tab. Doesn't matter, you can go either way. I just like power in, outside, power out in the middle for consistency's sake. So we are going to go with a red spade. Small red spade right there in that middle. Cut it about right there. Now we're gonna, we're gonna want to eye Yeah, it's a little long, but it'll be all right. A little longer than I usually make them. Put them down like that. All right, and we will run this guy right here. So this is where the magic's gonna happen with the SA. When we hit that switch, that's gonna we're gonna land this positive right here. That's gonna shoot, activate or uh, turn on that switch.
that over here so I can zip tie these two together a little bit better. So this is the trick. Let's say you already have a box built. You just want the SA port. This is this is where you're gonna land it. I'll probably just make a separate shorter video on on that. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing over here, minus the SA port. Small red spade. I'll make sure all these tools, I'll leave a link. You don't have to use them. I'll leave an Amazon link. But it supports a channel. You actually click on that link, they give me a couple cents every time I sell one. Now this time we wire up batteries. If you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. That uh, the YouTube algorithm algorithm really likes it when when you guys do that, and it, it really helps us out. So thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, what else is there? Comment. Yeah. So let's let's keep these separate, especially if you're working with sealed lead acid. With these, it's not that as big of a deal. Uh, we're gonna, you know what, let's go ahead and mount these batteries. It's a good time to do that. So, take that Velcro, wiggle it back and forth like that. That makes this backing a hell of a lot easier to, to peel off. Just like that. And this will come in your wiring kit if you order that. So I like to take the, the fuzzy side. We'll, we'll land that. So there's a very faint little line from the molding process all the way around here. I like to put the top of that right on that line. It seems to seems to work out. Even if you can't see it, you can you can feel it. It's right there. Just like that. Some sticky stuff. There we go. Looks like you got that one a little bit crooked, but it'll be alright. So, before you do this, grab yourself a couple of paint scrapers, a couple of spatulas, metal grilling spatulas look, work out really, really well. Something that's pretty thin and stiff that you can slide in there, even cardboard will work. Slide in there and then slide your battery. Okay, 
and a couple paint scrapers. They're actually 3D printer scrapers. Just like that. Now that thing's locked in there. You do the same to the other side. I'll just fast forward here so that's a waste of bunch of time. There we go. Now you can shake this thing upside down. Those batteries are not going anywhere. Let's wire these up. Make sure you keep these separate. You know what? We're just going to land that in negative. So what I like to do is I like to loop around just like that. Now this is going to be a red flag. Let's grab your... That one didn't feel good. I don't think we, yeah, we didn't get a good crimp. Happens sometimes. We, we send you some extra, so don't worry about if you get a bad crimp. That one's a lot better. that guy so we're going to use a blue flag over here on this negative side Now remember, when you're hooking these up, negative, negative, negative. Do not hook it up positive to negative. That would be series, and that's not what we want. Let's put it right there. This is going to be a red flag. like that now this right here is where we need that um, inline fuse don't worry about putting your don't worry about putting your fuse in yet leave that out So we're going to go by right there. Blue flag on this guy.
Oop. Let's try that again. There we go. Now I like to put a zip tie right in here. Another one right here on this bundle. Now, we wire this switch here. This is what I what what I call the charging switch. So you hook your your amp. Uh, USB charger in, into it into the USA port and that will control it or you can hook alligator clips to these posts and that will the switch will also control it so to do that what we need to do is we need to land this fuse and the power in for that switch so right there and then we also there's gonna be a two wire connection so you got your fuse and then your other red this red one is gonna tie into this wire here and then we're gonna run that to our master switch that will power this switch and bypass the master so we do not need the master on to turn that switch on to charge our box Hey, if you have any questions, do me a favor, ask, ask in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions on these videos, I'm all ears. So if you have any, any suggestions, if I can uh, do, do something better as far as making these videos, I'm, I'm all ears. Oop, I want to take it. I want to take it from the wire kit, not from my... So sometimes you have to... Oh, we got her in there. Sometimes you have to squish the, the plastic here a little bit to get that in. But she, she went in there today. Let's go in. That's the big blue spade. We'll land right there. Okay, now we'll take our, our light wires here. I like to kind of fish them right, right on in here. Just like that. Now we can start doing a little, little cable management here. There. Now let's take this wire just kind of guide it along here. We know we're going to the switch here, the master switch. So I'm going to just make sure we got plenty of wire. Cut it long right here. Okay. Now we'll... Yeah. Okay. Now we can wire up the positive. We, we won't land these yet. Just they'll be in our way. But we can run our positive through the rest of the box here. So, master switch. Ah, let's start up here. We'll go this power into the switch. We'll go from here to here. So one wire connection on this switch. So that's gonna be a red spade. Make sure you can see that.
like to follow. Use this negative wire as a guide. That'll keep your, your wire nice and clean. Go right there. Now, on this socket, there's going to be a two-wire connection. There's going to be a blue. Should load that up first. that. Now we're going to come over here to voltmeter. This is going to be a three wire connection. Right. Trim off a piece like that. When I, when I'm lining these up, I like to just put them, all three of them in a line and then collapse them to like, like that. I don't know how to explain it. And then you just twist them. That's kind of just worked for me, how I do it. So you twist them and then when you put this on, you kind of rotate that the same, oops, the same way that you twist them. Just like that. Just seems to make it go in a little easier. Right. So I want to take him over here to this middle of the master switch. So there's a one wire connection from the voltmeter to the middle tab on the master switch. This is going to be a red small spade, single wire, so red. Just like that. Now we're going to take this other wire and we're going to run him along that black negative wire to this positive right here. This is a two wire connection. This is going to be a blue flag. right to our light switch. If you do not have a glow cup, this is the end of the road for you. You won't have the switch, you won't have this glow cup if you ordered with a glow cup. So if you're in that boat, this is going to be a red spade and you're going to terminate this wire on the outside silver tab. If you have the glow cup like this, 
you're looking at a blue, small blue spade. Two wire connection. Support that switch. Land that guy right there. So if that red wire from your light switch, we can terminate that one right here. But you know what? I'm just gonna we'll, we'll get there. I'm just gonna cut it all along. Okay, now we can start cleaning some of this stuff up here. Now make sure you don't blow past the master switch because you still have to land your your main power, your power into that switch. There we go. That looks so much better. So get your red wire. You should only have one in this bundle. One that doesn't have a home. This is going to be a one wire connection. Red female spade support that switch I like to throw the switch on the side that I'm um, landing a wire on. There we go. Do me a favor, if you build one of these, hop on our social media, Ice Hole Power, on Facebook or Instagram, and shoot us some pictures of your of your power box. Um, we like to, to post some customer pictures from time to time. Or if you have a unique application for the box, we'd love to hear about it. So Ice Hole Power. Facebook or Instagram. Okay. So you have two negative, whoop, two negative light wires here. These white ones are going to be your positive. Then you have your negative coming out of this uh, socket here. You want to kind of follow this. Use your your positive wire as a guide. Come on down here. Now, with this wire cut to length, we want to use this wire, this wire, as a guide for the light wires. Now, make sure, make sure you're grabbing the right wire. This wire that we're going to use as a guide is coming out of that socket, and we got this length by following this wire. Like that. 
actually I can probably snip a little bit more like that all right so we're gonna bring these out here we're gonna cut all these wires same length these two positive wires this is the positive of the uh, the lights to that middle and we're gonna grab a small blue connection what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this plastic a little bit on the end we're gonna pinch that just a little bit that's just gonna be a little bit easier for those wires to to fit in there there we go just like that oh Might, might pinch her, pinch her on the red there. There we go. Now, for your negative side here, this is going to be a Actually, a four wire connection if you have the glow cup. So you're going to have your two white wires, your one come from this post, and we got to run another negative from here to this negative. So we're going to use the yellow. Where is my negative wire? Here it is. We're going to take our negative wire here. Actually, give her a pinch on the blue, on the blue side if you can. Yeah, that's a good tight connection. Just like that. Get that out of, out of the road. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the positive from the glow cup wire. We're going to land it on that middle. So, we just split them like that. We're going to use a red. I like to. Skin this one back a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more than that. I'm just gonna double this thing, this guy over, just like that. Gives it a little bit more to bite onto. There we go. 
take this negative. This needs going to be about right there. Now this negative and this negative is going to tie together right there. So we'll shorten, we'll shorten this guy up a little bit. We're going to terminate that last negative post. Just out of curiosity, what uh, curious what it, all batteries you guys are gonna use in this thing. This one's built with amps. I've built them with sealed lead acid before. Don't uh, Apex. Actually, they're AGM batteries. Curious what what brand batteries you're gonna use. Let me let me know in the comments below. Speed. Do a little bit more clean up here. I'm just gonna throw one right across here. So we are done wiring this thing up. So you got a couple couple extra there. You'll have a pretty good chunk of red wire left. Probably won't have enough. You won't have enough to do another one. And a small chunk of negative wire around here somewhere. Here it is. So, moment of truth, we'll pop that fuse in there. Just like that. Go ahead and Shake up everything. Boom. Look up. Lights. Charging switch. Accessory switch. Oh, that's crooked. Dang, I didn't tighten that down very well. So when I say this thing's wired to bypass master switch, you can turn the master switch off. That switch will stay on. So when you're charging, if you have alligator clips, hook them up here, hit that switch, then you're charging. When you get your, your charger, if you order if you order the amp batteries and the lithium charger. You'll get this thing, you don't really need it. 
this is what you need. That's the SA port. Plug that in. There. See how it's green? So that green indicates either the battery's full or there's an open connection. You're going to plug that in just like that. That turned red. This red indicates we're charging. See if I hit that switch, that'll go green because we're not con we're, we're not connected to the battery. So that switch must be on. We're able to control this port through that switch because of the wiring. I think we're all done here. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. Uh, really appreciate you guys watching. See you in the next one.